No. Nope. No prompt, I guess I can't. I guess that certainly lessens the impact of that, actually. Um, in the event that I happen to be looking at that document, which is pretty reasonable. Um, and then the lights go out, you're just not going to notice what happened to the wall there, which kind of makes that a lot less scary. Ah! What a colorful path! Did you come out of here? I suppose you did. Yeah. Oh. This house is absolutely amazing. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. I'm not that round. <laughs> I wonder if maybe they just completely removed that. I, I forget how far in that was. But that'd be funny if because I, I had a laugh about it, they were just like, nah. <laughs> maybe a few people thought that it was not necessary. Made the tone a bit more light, actually. I thought you were handing me my walking stick. I can't, I can't use it then. Back over here again? No. Can we just go through the painting? No. Nope. That's all my options, unless we go back in that room again. There's not another button to take it, right? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't take the key. I'm an idiot. I thought the key was what was going to trigger the, the walking thing to mess up the walls. But it wasn't. It was just... It was either timed or it was me looking at that document. Also, before I do that, just to make doubly sure. Yeah, okay. on these shelves, I imagine? No. Oh, what about up here? Yeah, it's a little too high for me. I remember this room. It was, uh, it was a little wet on the floor. I don't know where the water would have come from either, because there's no leaks in the ceiling from what I can tell. It's just sort of pulled up in certain spots. down there. Oh, that's really cool. That's extremely pretty. Looks like a scene out of Bloodborne. Ah. Yeah, we're back in the bedroom again. Yeah, close. Close the door? No, can't close the door. Let me see if I remember how to do this part. It was like the first spot in the game that I think Honey, I remember was not obvious. what in the world are obvious. you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. That's sad. She just wants to play her violin and straining her. There's that statue again. It's a little bit bent, isn't it? It looks like one side is slightly higher than the other. Oh, maybe it's slightly sunken into the table for reasons that you'll see momentarily. Excuse me. Oh. Pro prosthesis snatchers. Insatiable bastards can't afford a new one. Why the damn leg? Apparently the rats have burrowed into my leg. That's a uh, pretty good reason to be upset at them, I would say. So we've got a record there. Toss that on. And we'll crank the crank. 
Come on. Yeah. Everything's turned into like muck. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew oh, how it was gross. done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Yeah, I really, really don't like that at all. But that's what we're after. We needed our chunk of skin. Now we got our vial of blood. What else could we need to complete our masterwork? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Well, the violin doesn't get melted in this. That's good. No, I don't think I can actually leave the room for now, but the point was really... Oh, wow. The wood turned into that? I mean, it was just wood paneling. Or like... Not floor stickers. No, it looks like real wood. No, disregard. Now we'll put it back into normal motion. No? Oh, I gotta flip the... Hang on. You stop. Yep, gotta flip the lever there. There it is. Good old memories of jumping all around. Much better, yes? Okay. Anything in here now? No, just lots of shoes. Hey, we're back in the studio again. So that's trip two into Krampus's wild ride. And I guess we shall apply our blood to the painting. That looks like some sort of Akira-inspired wall of putrid flesh. Which I know is incidentally a magic card. Oh no! It's all melted and there's oil coming out. Oh, at least you can see the fan in it. That's cool. There's a lot of whispers coming out of this wall. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. That's all. Some liquid courage for your grand art opening. I wonder if maybe the wife got him that present, thinking it was like a cute kind of cheeky thing to do for him, and then he got addicted to it, and then became an alcoholic. And then she was in the fire, and she lost her ability to do what she found fulfilling. And then the two of them were at each other the whole time. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Maybe the wife is still there? Like, maybe the wife and the kid are both still there, we're just completely receded into our own mind. Form emerges. Form is going to emerge. Eh, that seems too simple, actually. I still think this carpet looks like a pizza. Just dwell on that for a moment. Pizza carpet. Oh yeah, there it is. Silent Hill for the room. Oh, 
found one. Rodent seeds. I see the dirt move. Rotten soil, nothing else grows. Ugh. That's real nasty. It's like a... Almost seems evocative of Moonlight Sonata a little bit. Perfect thematically to fit with this. So many hat boxes everywhere. Well, that seemed just unnecessary. It wasn't even really that scary. It was just sort of like, here it is. There's the thing. Oh no, the piano's all chained up. Helen! Boxes, another letter I can't interact with. So these like younger people around in these in these uh, paintings that I, just, I don't know if they're relevant to anything. Wow, it's not the way that I would expect that to move. That is a beautiful painting. I think we saw it before, but it was like further away, so I couldn't really get a good appreciation for it. There we are. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious brought upon a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell, the old uh, agent. I had the pleasure of reading correspondence from earlier. What are we going to do about this piano? It's like right in the way. Excuse me, Mr. Piano. I'd like to... Go to the other side, please. New Disciple, thank you very much for the host. I don't know, maybe I don't go that way, actually. Oh, oh, that was just that. Alright, we'll try back in this direction. They don't really strand you at all, ever. It's, it's never been, like, a really a matter of getting stuck. Morse code. Someone's signaling an SOS across there. Sending out an SOS. Hey, what's up? I thought I was going to have a conversation for the first time in freaking life in this game. No, that's a bit depressing. Alright. Big ol' empty room. Oh. Oh. Creator's block? Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. You're stifling me, game. How am I supposed to create in conditions like this? Oh, okay. This floor has seen better days. Look at that. I love that they modeled it along the actual breaks in the wood like that, too. I didn't necessarily have to do that, but I appreciate it. It's sort of like how that became such a trend around, I think it was when, like, Max Payne came out. They would take floor tiles or wall tiles or, like, mosaic tiles, any tiles they could find, or bricks even, and they would uh, knock off a couple of bricks and then put a few on the floor to suggest that maybe that surface was continued in another way. Oh, we're looking in through a window now. And we see paintings on the wall, as usual. Office setting. Hey, now we're in it. That's neat. June 9th. Don't forget. Yeah, no, I remember I was going to put... That was the, the wedding date. It's a new moon. No year anywhere, though. Right? Have we seen a year so far? I don't think we have.
It's a pretty painting. So a single bed. I would presume who else would this be, but maybe this is evocative of one of them sleeping in another room. I'm angry because I hate that she's sleeping in another room, maybe. Could that be it? What is that? Demons and snakes and a variety of awful things have taken over our what was normally a normal, calm dinner table. Not sure how far you're meant to read into the paintings, but I do believe that they're intended to uh, prescribe some sort of meaning to the context of the rooms you're walking through. under that just furniture and a pallet it looks like doesn't matter I guess little terrace outside looks lovely hmm September 15th more notes today even worse than before the sad part is I agree with every word oh there's a uh, flickering being behind me, isn't there? Yeah. That'll happen. That looks like a child's crayon painting, crayon drawing, but uh, splattered onto a wall. Like, kind of projected onto a wall, but I think it's just like blending modes. Anyway. Hey! It's the pizza hallway again! Pizza, pizza. How many times am I going to keep opening these same drawers and expecting something different? It has been something different some of the time, right? I would just be flat out wasting my time. Oh, look at all these books. Look at all these individually modeled and textured books. How many repeats do we see here? Well, all of the maroon ones, right? So you get the ones with the, the squares on the front. With the little flourishy flowers, ivyness going on. There's three of those, a bunch of the green ones. Some of the gray, burned, tattered looking ones. Alright, there's more repeats than I thought at first glance, but still. I appreciate when things are individually modeled well. Yeah, I guess that probably wouldn't sit like that. It kind of looks more like it's frozen in time now that I've analyzed it close up. Not always the right thing to do, sometimes it is. Usually it is, not maybe that time. Can't turn this light on. Oh, I can open that door. Oh, where are we there? I don't want to walk through yet in case I can go this way also. Or in case I miss something over here. Nope. Door? Oh, I've got a choice here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff on that wall. Alright, let's take a quick peek in this first. Oh, but there's a door there, too. I don't know which is the right way. They always lock you out of everywhere. I don't want to miss something. This place is less spooky. Let's... God damn it. Oh, I hate it. Mmm, so angry. I could have walked in that room, and I didn't. Unless somehow I can double back. I doubt it, though. Oh, a key that I can't reach. But I can see. It's blinking as well. Uh, I'll probably have to move the ladder over later or something. How do I get there? Maybe we just walk around. It could be so simple. Really? I can't pick that up? It looks just like all the other black and white photos that I'd seen before. And, uh... Yep. Key's there. Why would you taunt me like this game? You're being very cruel. Envelope I can't interact with. Yep, nothing there. Hmm. 
well, I did kind of doubt that I'd be able to move the ladder over because they just don't really do props like that very often. Oh. Ah, it lets you actually come up this, huh? All right, my hopes have been redoubled. Um, if I could move this over, I would certainly be able to reach the key now. But I don't... wait. Oh, it does move! All right. Very nice. Now, what did we need to key anyway? This door? Just out of curiosity, this won't let me go back, I assume, yes? I assumed it would be uh, not like a pushable ladder, but more of something that I could uh, trigger. Oh. All right. I figured it would be something that, like I hit a button and it goes, all right, now we slide this over. Oh. That's creepy. I don't really know what to make of that. It just looked like, like a child sleeping and someone in bed with the child and eyes burned out. Had to, had to ruin it. Rarely will I ever think it's a good idea to do what they did there, where it's just sort of like a, just a coin flip about if you pick the right path or don't. I always find that so frustrating. There's no reason for it either. Just let me, let me know if we're gonna make a decision that's going to alter my course like that. Backwards phone ringing. Backwards phone ringing. No. Ah. Ah, this is going to be annoying to hear. I'll read this quickly. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would uh, be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. Uh, what you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, uh, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand uh, that what she went through simply uh, cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Dr. Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack, he says at the bottom. Okay, that phone ringing has got to stop. Snape, Snape. Snape, Snape. Oh. I think he threw the threw the phone off the balcony up there. Did I say physiological or psycho psychological when I meant physiological? I might have just been trying to read quickly so I didn't have to hear that. It's uh, it's exactly shrill enough that I just hate that sound. Please. <laughs> Please! Can't let me interact with it. Okay. No more! Okay, well, you know what we do when this happens. You go backward. Just answer it! No. Goodness. No! Not the phone! Hello? Yes. 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 Speak. yes. Speak. What? What? What fire? fire. Oh, God. God. Is she... Is she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. Man, that's 
it's got to be so awful to get a call like that. I've been so fortunate to not have really had that happen in my life, but I know so many people have, and happens with such alarming regularity. Um, now, do you intend for me to go backward here, or actually the other way now? Okay, I'm really tired of walking through this hallway. Ah, good old restless memories. The pacing is quite different from what I remember in the beta. What? What are you doing in here? I didn't even get to say hi. And you just freaking jump up the wall or something? What's this? This is very rude. If the phone rings again, I'm out. What does that say? Fred thoughts? You guys having any Fred thoughts right now? It probably doesn't actually say Fred thoughts, but it would be neat if it did. You know, Ted talks, Fred thoughts, it sense if you ask me. Yeah, there's those metals again. More alcohol. Yep, I get the point. Dude's loving his alcohol. Oh, flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Pretty gnarly. Cool art on those, too. Not that I'm a fan of the rats in particular, but they're well rendered. Oof. Long hallway. Goodbye, you may deload now. Oh. I don't know if that did anything. Well, I guess that one light wasn't on before, huh? Cool. Wow, look at that sweet freaking blind moving around. What do you have to say about yourself, dear? Are you knocking me back? Oh, the flickering thing is there. Oh. It's giving me cause for concern, apparently. Oh, what have you done to the deer? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 